Hey everyone, today I'll be talking about the TA-152 H1. So we get into some facts and stuff about it. So first, so firstly, did you know that the TA-151 has nitrous in it? And in World War II, it's called, for Germany, it's called laughing gas. What nitrous does is it cools, it cools the air around it, which is also more oxygen, makes the air more dense, which is also more power, which is gonna get burned better, which is also more power. And, and this plane, and some people may not realize this, but planes with wings like this are good for high altitude. That's why the TA-152 has the word H in it. H means high altitude in German. I don't know what the German means, I don't know what the German word is, but it means high altitude. So, so this, this is powered by a Yonkers Umo 213E1 and produces over 2,000 horsepower with water methanol. It has water methanol too. I described it in the last video. I don't know. So y'all know how that works. And this thing is inverted. So inverted, it has a great factor too. It's like the BF-09. Inverted has a lower center of gravity. So now, lower center of gravity, what that does is it helps with stability. You ever see cars? So cars with lower center of gravity has more st st stability because it's not in one place. It's all around. It's equal. So that's why making this thing equal is more stable. See, you see, you see, not really moving that much. You notice that air time, you know, the Corsair doesn't really move that much. It also moves with the plane. That's why some people don't realize this, but BF 109s and Falcon wheels are actually really stable. Um, not Falcon wheels. BF 109s are stable too because of that. In their engine infrared B12. This is this has a motor cannon in it, which is 30 millimeter. It's called the jackhammer though. You can get you can get one shots in these. You get one shots in these. You can dog fight anybody with this plane. I feel like. Because it has strong landing flash and it can raise so much lift. And so some people don't realize this, but landing flaps, they can raise so much lift because they have they make downwash. Downwash is when the plane, you know, it can raise some lift. It makes like a groove. Like a like a like a I don't know how to describe it. If I had a picture I would show y'all though. It's like a groove, it makes downwash, so that results in greater lift. That's why you see planes and the more you put out the flats, the more it's gonna make it slow down, but you're gonna have more lift. That's why they have combat flats you can minimize that speed and focus on more lift. So you can have so you can turn better. These planes are built that are built like this are not really good for like good at low altitudes. This is actually made to fight Spitfires because that was his main competitor when it was in the Falco form, the eight the Anton form. And the thing was too, was that when the Spitfire came with the new Merlins, the improved Merlins with the superchargers and stuff like that, with, with fuel injection. And pilot, when people, some pilots, what would do, German pilots, what they do is since the, since the other Spitfire, oh, the first Spitfires were powered by a carburetor, where a carburetor does it misses the air fuel before going to the combustion chamber. So it doesn't have it. It doesn't. It has an intake, but it really doesn't like. It's not separate. It really doesn't need the ETU for that. And the control unit controls everything. So that and when you go upside down, there's no fuel ejection. There's no fuel coming to the and air coming to the combustion chamber. So that's why they pull negative G's. That's why they pull negative G's in this plane. So you, if you pull negative G, it's gonna lose power, and older and older Spitfires, and then you're able to, um, you're able to, um, able to like get away a little bit. You could, you could like outperform them. You can outperform them. Let's see behind me. So, oh, let me see something. Oh, I'm above, I'm above everybody. Let me let me wait. Let me wait till everybody. I got to tactically. I just wait for everybody to get like two people. You you gonna get enough? Let's see how this goes. I'm just right here. So let me put my thing down the 
say 90. I'll just do 100. Um, yeah, this plane and this head has it's the build was stable too because some and I forgot what YouTuber said this, but the fuel is actually in the middle. So when you maneuver at higher high speed, it's going to be able to move a little more because the fuel is actually pushing the aircraft. Actually pushes the aircraft like that. So yeah, I want to see how that goes. Let me see how this goes. Fuel is going to push the aircraft. And and what's he doing? So Anyways, this airframe is really strong. Airframe is really strong. I'm the cleanup crew. So, this airframe is really strong. And, y'all you know, know this is too, that the wings are very thin. This results in higher aerodynamic flow. It's also more aerodynamic flow. And and I forgot what I was gonna say. And it has a long it has a large wing area, so it's gonna, gonna create more lift. But this has a heavy wing loading at the same time because these plants are actually really heavy. I described that in my last video. But I'll just tell y'all again, wing loading is the aircraft we divide by the wing area. It's a large wing area. So. Since it has a large wing area, it's also able to produce more lift. What you'll see in this dog fight, you'll see in the dog fight where I, if, I, if I was a dog fight this, you see how really maneuver this airplane is with the downwash of these flaps. Downwash creates more lift. So let's see how let's see how this do. So we go up. We start out. Gotta take advantage of this. Anybody around? Nope. I'm just dog fighting him. So, what you do is you just pull your flaps down and it creates the downwash. I need energy. It's also an energy fighter, though, for people that I don't know. And this airplane is really good. It's powered by the Yonkers U-1213. Did I say that one? With the three-stage supercharger? I think I already said that.
And these dance create so much lift, these flaps. Let's see if I get him. Got him. Clean up crew on top. That's on game. Now nah, I don't got no game. And so this airplane is really good. I rate this out of eight out of ten. And brief history of this plane is that Falco Wolf, Kurt Tate wanted to prove that radio engines were better than inline engines. So he just made this airplane. This was better than the BF 409, in my opinion. And the Falco D had the same with the Yonkers Umo, needed more power for high altitude. Doras are high altitude airplanes, for people that don't realize. And I feel like that if somebody could do a private wet match with me, then we could be see who, which plane you think it could beat this. Because I don't think, I don't think really in terms, I don't think airplane can so much lift and the flash rate so much downwash that it just has so much lift it just outturns everybody and it has the horsepower to keep up so i think that if you i want to see what's bigger oh wow this airplane is actually fairly large airplane is large and, hey but you know the p47 and did y'all notice that this, this is actually a pacific this is made for the pacific that's why so much has long, long legs. It has big wing areas. And it's, it's squatted now, made for the Pacific. And it has long dorsal fins. Dorsal fins help with yawing, directional problems. And, and you see those things right there, those little antenna things, those two between the dorsal fin, that also helps with directional problems too. This one plane has directional problems. And yeah. That's just a brief history. Brief history. Brief. Oh yeah, superchargers. So for you don't know how superchargers work, superchargers run on engine's power and it has parasitic loss to it. Parasitic loss is when, for superchargers, it's when the supercharger needs to require a horsepower to run the super to run it. So that's what it means. Let's say an engine has 600 horsepower, right? And the uh, and the power that the supercharger promises 300. So it needs 200, it needs 200 horsepower to run it. So that means it's actually gonna give out 100 horsepower. That's really what it means, if I'm right, if my math is right. Yeah, anyways, I hope y'all enjoy this gameplay and subscribe and share, please share, because I need 50 so I can go live for y'all. And yeah, peace, I hate that.